Good morning, everyone, out there in YouTube land. Hey, folks, I've been away for a couple of weeks, um, went on a cruise, but I'm back. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to do a uh, video on a $500 bankroll. I'm going to play the don't as well as the, um, the box numbers. But as you see down here, I have landmines. I call them landmines. These are chips that's in my way of my landing zone. Um, someone gave me a comment about landing zone. And I was telling him about, you need to hit your landing zone. And he asked, well, what if, what if somebody's in your way or some money is in your way or the chips are in your way? So what I decided to do is do a video on putting chips on the table and trying to dodge the chips. I'm going to do the side. I call it the side chopper. My mentor, Mr. Leo, calls it the inline chopper. This is a pretty good throw. I did well on the cruise, did very well on the cruise a uh, week and a half ago. All right. I'm going to start with $125 on the don't. And I'm going to put 110 inside. <clears throat> and I'm going to play the all tall small, uh, $5 a piece. And I'll put the rest of this in my rack. So I started with a $500 bankroll. And let's see, can we double it? Especially with all these landmines in the way. I'm going to be working my come out. I'm going to be a, a more aggressive. And so I'm going to work to come out. The first set that I'm going to throw is going to be a one, two, two, one. I'm trying to hit the three. That's what I'm trying to do. After that, I'm just going to pick certain random sets and throw whatever on the dice that I like and see can we come out ahead of the game. And what I'm trying to do is throw at least eight times before the big red the seven comes after that it's going to be one at a time i would like to do anywhere from eight to twelve okay folks here we go we're coming out working and there's an eight don't like to play the eight on the don't but i'm going to play it and you see how the dice land it I like how they land. Let's make sure you can see them also. Okay, the other one you cannot see. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little so you can see it a little more. Okay, so you see they, they split, and that's how I like them to be when I'm throwing. I did this on the, on, on the ship. I went on the Mardi Gras. And it went right between all the chips. Uh, this side chopper that I call it, it does work pretty well on splitting because the dice are already split. That was a $35 winner. I'm going to rack that, of course. And that was a three, three, five. Hey, folks, I suppose put in a don't down there so you can see it, but that's okay. It's a three, five. And like I said, that's a $35 winner. What I'm trying to do is double. I like what's on the dice, but I don't like that it's the eight. So I'm going to rotate and put a nine, nine on the dice. And let's see, can I hit a five, nine? Looking at my landing zone. Right between them and I hit the nine. And where my landing zone is, is right here. It's the C and the O in the cum. So I can hit here softly and just bounce in between. And there's a four, five, nine. And that's another $35 winner. And I really do like um the grip i like this grip i really do uh, i threw some really good numbers 
when I was away. Okay, I'm going to keep this on the dice, even though if I turn the dice this way, the, uh, it's 11 showing. It's a 4, 5, 5, 6 showing. So I'm going to throw the same. I'm going to throw that. I have no problem with this one. All right, folks, here we go. Coming out. See how they fall? See, see how the dice go? In between. And I was doing this on that ship. In between, there's a four. That four does not help me. I wish it did, but it did not help me. That's a one three. All right, here we go. And I'm going to adjust this one too. I'm going to put the five, but I'm going to do a cross six on this one. I want to hit the five. Or let's hit the box cars. Okay, here we go. Coming out in between, and there's a snake eyes. That one landed on the chip, as you saw, but the other one went between. But it landed on the chip softly. And that's why I guess it's not a seven. I know every time I hit the chips, a lot of times it's a seven. And I know why he asked me about the, um, gave me the compliment uh, about, well, what do you do if the money is in your way? So I am showing you what I do. I throw the side chopper. I don't throw the three finger grip. I throw the side chopper and hope that they bounce around the chips. Okay, coming out. And there's the eight. Didn't like that. The eight hit, but it's okay. That's the point. But once again, it ran around the chips. And I know, know what I'm going to do too? I'm going to put some odd chips back here. Just to have, just to see what happens. Everybody playing odds. So I lost 175, I mean 125, but I won 35 here. So that's a net $90 minus $90. So I lost $90, okay? So I'm just going to take this all down, and I'm going to pay myself $35, but it was a minus. So that's an 8. What's the point? Minus 90. And right now I'm losing twenty dollars, twenty bucks so far, but I can win that back very, very quickly. Okay, take the puck off. Do another hundred and twenty-five dollars, and we're gonna be working again. And I'm gonna throw that that set. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do uh, the two one, one two. I, I, I want to hit the three. If I can hit that three, that would be great on this one. Well, there's no odds down here at this moment, so we're going to take these up and put that over here. All right, folks, here we go. Coming out. Dice out. There's a six. Now I'm going to put the odds back. They're going to play odds. That dice you probably couldn't see is hugging the wall. It was hugging the wall. It was a one, one, five. And that's another $35 winner. So we just need to hit some numbers now. Put the puck on. Six. Just need to hit some numbers. I'm going, and I'm going to change this one. I'm doing a four two, four six. Coming out, and there's an eight. I like that. That's an eight. So let's hit two more numbers. It's Thirty five dollars. Uh oh, I forgot to pay myself for the other one.
That was for the six, 35 for the six, and 35 for the eight. Okay. And that's a three. Three, five. $35. We hit that number, folks, and that's what hurt us. We hit the eight. Six and eight, I do not like to play. I don't like playing those. Let's switch it. I got a three, one, five, four. I have the five was in front of me. Let's see, can we hit the five or a nine? All right, coming out. That one didn't go all the way down, and there's a seven because it hit the chip. But that's fine. <clears throat> we didn't lose anything. <clears throat> we have 125 here on the don't and 125 out here um, in play. You know, on the on the box number and all tall small. So we reset the all tall small, and I think that was the eighth throw. So we are in profit though, <clears throat> but we didn't lose anything, not anything. Wish we could have won a little bit of money, but we didn't. That was a one six. So that's nothing, not a loss. Right now we have fifty bucks, <laughs> and that was. That was the eighth throw. That's good. Now I want to throw another eight throws. Now let's take the odds down. Take them off. All right, that's coming out. All right, folks, I'm coming out with a two, three, one, three. I'm still trying to hit that nice three that would be nice okay folks here we go coming out that hit the chip but like we are on i'm telling you we were on and that's a five i like that number and see how close they were to the wall oh my goodness the dice are doing some good stuff right now the dice are doing some good stuff that's a 35 dollar winner put the puck on the five And folks, we're up in a little bit of profit. That's a two, two, three, thirty-five dollars. Okay. Next time I'll go down there and see how the uh, camera is working down there. All right, we do not want to hit. Now we do not want to hit that five. So I'm gonna go with a four, two, four, six. This is a, a 3V set. The 3V is on the bottom. Coming out right between them. And there's a 5 right back, folks. Oh, my goodness. Let me look down here and see. Can you see the dice? I mean, they're throwing some good stuff. I don't want to be hitting numbers right now when I'm playing the don't. I don't want to do that. Because that's what hurts me when I hit the point. And, yes, I can throw points quite a bit. But I don't like it. I don't like that one. That's another $125 loser. So all I'm going to do is take it from here and just put it back up. That's $125. But we won $35. So we lose only $90 again. Okay. And that was the back to back one. And that was a 4 1. Minus $90. Tell you where we at. Down $5. Take the puck off. Now let's hit some numbers. Well, first of all, let's hit the, let's hit, let's go ahead and try to hit the, um, the three. Or let's hit the snake eyes. That'd be nice. It's going to come out. All right, folks, here we go. Coming out. And there is a hard four. Okay, that's fine. That one I can do, but I can hit that number two. I tell you, I hit that number two. All right, let me show you. Hey, folks, as you can see, the dice are going in between the, um, the chips. That's really, really good, good, and that's good control. So when somebody say you can't control, 
the dice. You can control the dice to a certain extent. I'm not going to say you can control them all the way. It got to be a little luck in it also. But I'm throwing in the same landing zone and watch how they split. They do split in the air and they splitting. See, they split right between the numbers. And if you can hope you can see that four in the corner over there. No, you can't. Doggone it. Let me just. No, you can't see it no matter what. But the four is right there in the corner. I'm going to bring it out so you can see it. I'm going to bring it straight out so you know it's in the corner. I'm going to bring it straight out so now you can see it. I brought it just straight out. I hope you can see it now. But that's what I want to do so you don't think I'm cheating. I don't want nobody to think I'm cheating. I just brought, brought it straight out. It was so close to the wall. It was just hugging the wall. But there's a nine. Okay, that's a $35 winner. And you notice I am not pressing not a number at all. There's a nine. Okay. And I'm not going to do no pressing. I'm doing this without pressing. I want to see how much money I can win without pressing. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make another $500 onto my $500. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, coming out. Right between, there's a six. Let's see. I want to see, can you see it with the other camera? You can't see the five, but you can see the one. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just slide it straight, straight out so you can see it. And I know you can see it from the other camera. I'm not doing any flipping or anything. All right. I really want you guys to see this. Good stuff. There's a six. That's a one five. That's another $35 winner. I know a lot of people say, hey, you're losing a lot of money. You're not pressing because you should be pressing. But I want to show you that I want to make, I really want to make $500 profit. That's what I'm, that's my goal is to try to make $500 profit on $500 without pressing. If you press and you make $500, you're going to double your money or triple your money. Yes, I know that. But let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Coming out right between them. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. And I'm being consistent. You see that I'm very consistent. I'm throwing the dice in between the monies. That's what I'm doing. Right between the chips. And there's another $35 winner. That's a three, three, five. Thirty five dollars. OK, doing some stuff and I'm throwing the numbers, you know, like I said, like I like to throw eight throws of hitting numbers, hitting profit numbers. That's what I would like to do. And I'm trying to do that consistently. Eight to twelve. <laughs> 8 to 12, and you will make a profit. Okay, folks, here we go. Coming out. Coming out. Same landing zone. And there's a 5. This one is in the corner over here. I'm going to just drag it straight out. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to drag it straight out. And I'm going to put it right here in the don't come bar so you can see it. It was a 5. That's another $35 winner. I know you guys said, oh, but you should be pressing. Yes, I know. I know, but I want to show you that I can win $500 profit from $500 on this certain strategy. And all we're doing, we're playing both ways. We're playing the don't and we're playing the box numbers. The don't is protecting that money's up there. That's what's going on. Okay, I like what's on the dice. I'm going to throw what's on the dice. It's a four, four, six, one, two. And you can see that I'm consistent with my landing zone. They split. There's another five. That I didn't like. This one hit the corner of his dice. It went this way. 
but it went between the monies again. And there's a five. There's another $35 winner. I know, folks. I know you're saying, Jeff, you could be winning more money. You're right, folks. You're right. Everybody out there in YouTube land, you're so correct. But I'm just trying to prove a point. Right now, I'm up to 170. If I can just keep throwing numbers like I'm throwing, we're going to get up to that 500 mark. All right, here we go. Coming out. Same landing zone, folks. Look at that. Look at that. There go my three. All I got to do is hit snake eyes. Snake eyes and I'll hit the small. There it is. A three. I wish that would have came out in the first. On the first throw that I threw. All right, folks. I'm on one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine throws. Okay. Now I want to do one at a time. I want to count one at a time. I want to say 10, 11, 12. And then I reach my goal of 12 throws, eight to 12 throws. Same landing zone. Here we go. Coming out right between them. Hard 10. I don't think you can see this one, but I'm going to pull it straight out. I'm going to pull this one over to the dunk. Now I'm going to pull that closer so you can see. I really enjoy throwing this side chopper because you know that it lands so soft and, and just bounce a little bit to the back wall. And you don't want too much action. You do not want a lot of action. You don't want to throw the dice hard. You want to baby the dice and coast them to the back wall. Here we go. Coming out. Look at that. That was nice. That was a really nice one. Look at that. That's what you want. That's a nine. That's another $35 winner. All we need. Oh, let me put that back. All we need. It's snake eyes. That's all we need. Snake, folks, that's all we need. And we making money. That's another $35 winner. All right. I like what's on the dice. It's a five, four, four, two. Okay. I would like to hit that snake right now. That would be nice. Look at my landing zone, folks. Right between the dice. There's a five. Look at that. One, four, five. Another $35 winner. I'm going to say it again. I know. Not, I'm not pressing. And you know what? My mentor would be all over me right now. But what I'm still trying to do is show you I can make $500 on $500 money. 100% profit. That's what I call it, 100%. Okay? And right now, we're up to 270. All right. Keep it up. Concentrate. Landing zone. Nice. Soft. Here we go, folks. Coming out. In between. And there's a 7. It lean. It lean. There you go. It lean. But it's a 7. Let's see. Can we see that? I want to make sure we can see. I'm sure we can on this other camera. Yep, that's nice. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad about that because I lost nothing on this seven. I lost nothing. I have 125 here. I have 110 and 15. Only thing that messed me up is my all tall small when I could hit that, that snake eyes and I would have won $150. That's all it did. It made me reset. Okay, let's take the puck off the four. But we threw, I think, 11, 11 throws, and that's, that's beautiful. Lost nothing. Okay, here it is, the most important throw right here. We got to get through this one. This is the come out. Be nice to hit the three on the come out. All right, here we go. Landing zone. 
right between and there's a 10. I like that for the point. I really do like that. The four and 10, if you can hit the four and 10 for your point on your don't, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something just a little different. I'm going to protect myself on the 10. I'm going to put, I'm going to put $20 on the 10. Only one number can hurt me, and that's the 6446. That's it. The hard 10 is not going to hurt me at all. I'm going to win 140 minus 125, and I'm going to have a profit. Okay? So right now, only one number can hurt me. So this is going to be a great, great, hopefully, roll where I can throw some numbers without hitting the 10. So I'm going to play. I'm going to set it this time. I'm going to do a 4-2-4-6 four, four, every throw. Because what I'm trying to do is hit the 6 and 8. It's a 6-8 set. Matter of fact, it's a 3-V on the bottom. Here we go. Coming out. Beautiful. There's a 6. That's what I wanted. This one might be out too far. I'm going to push it straight. And there you go. That's a $35 winner. Six, and that's a four two. Okay. All right. Folks, it's glad to be back doing a video. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited I'm doing this video. I'm gonna continue to do that set too, folks. That's what I'm gonna do. The same set. I'm gonna say it again. It's a four two, four six. I'm trying to hit the six and eight. All right, here we go. Coming out. Look how they crawl to the wall. Here's a seven. It hurt me a little bit. It did hurt me a little. I lost $20. That's what I lost, but I protected myself, so I don't mind losing that $20 on that one. There's a seven. So that wasn't number the three row. I think three row, three rows. That was three row Charliet, I believe. Yep, what number three rows. But we got we made $35 on that row. So it's okay. That was a Four, three, seven. Didn't like it because I didn't roll my eight throws. That's okay. That's a minus 20 on that. But right now we're up $255. That's what we up. Take that off. That was my protection. All right. Too bad we couldn't hit some more throws on that one. That would have been great. It's all right. Here we go. Coming out. I want to hit, I want to hit the snake eyes, or I want to hit the three. Landing zone. There's a six. Like I said, we working every come out. We working every number. So that's a six. Got to reset that. So that's a point. That's a thirty-five dollar winner. Put that there. Thirty-five dollars. Okay, that was a one, four, one, one, five, six, thirty-five dollars. All right, we up two ninety. Okay, I'm gonna do a nine. I'm gonna do a three six six three nine five set. That's I want to hit the nine and five. Nine and five. Coming out. And there's a six right back. What nothing I can do about that one. Hit that six. I don't like playing a six. And I couldn't, I couldn't really protect it at pretty much at all. You know, you just can't protect the six and eight too much. Because uh, you can hit that five times, five different ways. Very difficult. So that's a minus of uh, that's a minus of $90. So I was up 290. So I'm back down to 200. But that was a point hit. So that happens. Now, if I can just hit, hit a snake eyes or three on the come out, I'm doing well. 
Doing some good stuff, folks. All right, let's try to hit that snake eyes. Or three. Come on, let's do it. Same landing zone, folks. Coming out. In between. And there's an eight. Well, the six and eight is coming up, I'm telling you. Six and eight. Ain't no way to protect it. I don't feel there's no way to protect it. it, it you can hit it so many different ways. Five ways. You, you know, so I don't think you can protect it. Uh, the four, the four and ten, you can protect it. You really can protect that. That's another thirty-five dollar winner. Like I said, we work in every every throw. I'm not gonna be off. Thirty-five dollars. Let's change this and get a hundred dollars. There we go. Okay, you're gonna do a nine-five set. It's three six six three nine-five set. I'm trying to hit the five and a nine. Those are the numbers I want to try to hit. All right, here we go. Coming out. There's a five. Really good. Really good stuff. That's a $35 winner. This is what I call control. That you throw the dice so nice, so soft. Get to the black wall or don't come past this line. That means there's not a lot of action going on. You know I talk about that all the time. And I'm going to continue to reiterate that because it's very important for you to know that if you throw the dice light, I'm telling you, you're going to do some good stuff. I'm telling you, I know you will. But if you throw the dice radically and hard, it's not going to, you're not going to control the dice like this. All right, here we go. Coming out. There's a five again. I'm loving it. You might not be able to see this when I'm going to pull it straight out. That's another $35 winner. I'm, I'm, this is what I like to do, and this is how I practice. I love practicing, and it goes the way it should go. Sometimes you're going to practice, and it's not going to go your way. That's just the way on a on ship or the casino. Sometimes, and then just walk away and come back. You can always come back. Take a break. Go somewhere, take, have a lunch break, go, go exercise, go lay out, go do something, get away from it, get your mind off of it. Then come back, do a little meditation before you get back on the table, and then start throwing. Landing zone. Didn't like that one. See how that one stopped me? But that's okay. It's a four. That's the first time I hit the dice like that. Uh, but this is my 30th throw. And that's good. It took me 30 throws before I hit the dice like that. So it didn't do any, anything for us. I'm going to do it a 9-5 set again and see can I hit that uh, 5 or the 9. Five, nine set. Let's hit it again. A 9 or a 5. Here we go. Concentrate, landing zone. Didn't like that one, but we got the nine. Hit the chip again. I'm going to put that right back in there. But I'm throwing it soft, so it's not doing a lot of action after it hits the chip. So that makes that, I really believe that makes a difference where the seven won't come up. That's a three, six, another $35 winner. Okay, folks, I have five more throws, and I'm up 340. 340. I still can make that $500. But I got I want to hit the small or the tall. I can do it. I got two numbers to hit before I hit the small. It's a three and a deuce. And I got three numbers to hit the, um, the tall, the 10, 11, and 12. So I do have a chance. But it's very slim chance of hitting that after my 36 rows because I'm, I'm going to stop after 36 rows. All right, here we go. Dice coming out. And there's a six. Absolutely wonderful. A one five. That's another $35 winner.
Okay, that's a one five. Thirty five dollars. Okay, we up three seventy five. We might be a little short if we don't hit the small. We might be a little short. And guess what? That's okay if that's the case. But we came close to hitting five, uh, making five hundred dollars. Now you can take your money off right now. Besides, you know the all tall small, but you can take all this money down, even the don't. You can take it all down, and your profit right now is three seventy five. All right, here we go. Coming out right between them, and there's the eight. See? Ha! Ah, didn't want to hit that eight, but that's okay. That's a ninety dollar loser, but you won a little bit from it. So that's ninety dollars. Minus 90. So I'm up 285. All right, we're working. We're working. We're working on the come out. So now I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw the uh 4246 set on this one because I want to try to hit the six and eight. I have three more throws. Let's see, can we get back up to 300s? All right, here we go. Coming out. There's a 10, hard 10. So I still can hit either the tall or the small. 10 is the point. I like that. 10 is the point. Okay. Two more throws. All you gotta do is hit the deuce, three, 11, 12. Let's go with the same set that's on the, nah, I don't wanna do that. I was gonna do the same set that was on the dice because I don't wanna hit the 10. And I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna hedge it or anything. Let's see, can we make it happen? All right, here we go, coming out, landing zone, right between them, snake eyes. Okay, now we need a three. Snakes. We need a three. All right, everybody around the table. Come on. Everybody should just be focused on three. Three. And I'm going to even do something. <clears throat> I'm going to put $5 on the three to try to force it to come. And I'm going to throw the one, two, one, two. Hard way set. So I'm just hoping they hit nice square on the table and one just rotates and the other one stays on the one. Let's hope that that happens. Let's see, can that happen? All right, here we go. Landing zone. And it's an eight. That's okay, folks. That was my last throw. So I win $35 on that last throw. That was a two, six, and I'm up in the 300s. I'm at 320. That's where I'm at right now. So since I haven't seven out real quick, I'm gonna throw a couple more throws. I'm gonna see, can I hit the small uh, real quick? I'm gonna see, can that happen? All right, here we go, coming out. I'm gonna throw three more throws. That's what I'm gonna do, that's it. Coming out. And there's a hard four. <clears throat> Didn't do anything for us. <clears throat> All right, let's see, can we hit it? Two more throws, and I'm gonna call it a day. Coming out, in between, and there's an eight. And so we win another $35. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. That's that. One more throw, folks. One more throw. Let's see. Can we make it happen? <clears throat> I'm going to throw that same throw and hope that they jump. Let me see one or two. The two is on the bottom <clears throat> and the snake ass is right in front of me. So I'm trying to hit the three and that two is on the bottom. Let's see. Can we make that dice just hop a little bit and spin and uh, get me that nice little three. Last throw, folks. Coming out, landing zone, 
and there's there is box cars folks now i want to throw three more times because now i can either hit the 11 11 or the three okay folks i'm gonna go a little bit longer all right here we go three more throws now it's making me throw three more throws i'm gonna leave it as is the five is facing me and we're gonna go for it come on now landing zone concentrate hit one of them there's a hard 10 see that see what happens that means i lost that there's a 10 folks and that was the point if i would have go went on and, and did a nice little hedge right there that would have been some good stuff so let's say we lost 90 dollars, and i'm up 90 not 90 i'm up 120 145 150 155 155 minus 90. so uh, uh let's see the calculation on that 355 minus 90 I'm, I'm, I'm a winner of 265, but if I continue, because I told you I was going to throw two, three more times. Let's throw three more times because I can hit the 11. I can hit the three on the come out. I'm going to take all the monies down because I made that profit of 265 because I could extend it. I was at 320 and I could have left it at 320 and walked away. But I want to see, can I hit the all tall small because I'm throwing some numbers. I just want to see. So I'm going to throw three more times and I'm going to end this video, folks. I'm going to really do that. I'm going to set uh, two, one, one, two, and let's hope for the three or the yo. That's the set. That's for the set for the yo and the three. Let's see, can I hit one of them? Coming out, landing zone. It's spent around and there's a nine. All right, one more throw and this is it, folks. No more. But I'm on a roll because I haven't seven yet. So I've thrown over eight times. Here we go, coming out, landing zone, in between. Bang, there it is, folks. There, that's small. Look at that. There's the small. I knew after the length of time I was going to hit it. Look at that. And I haven't seven out yet. Look at that. That's the small. I would have won. I ain't take this off yet. I would have won 150. So should I pull the 150? Because I took everything off off. And I, I could take all that money off. But I can't take that off. So guess what? I'm going to go ahead and pay myself 150. I think that's the right thing to do. All right, folks. That's a, that, I think that's the right thing to do. Let's put that 150 up there. So, it ain't calculate my monies. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, folks. You know we had a winner. I said of uh, 265. So let's go plus 150. Uh, that's 415. Okay. If that's the case, should I throw three more times to try to hit the 11? Matter of fact, that was the come out, and that would have paid the 125 here too. But I'm not going to do that because I took that money down. All right, let's see, can we hit that again? Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw the uh, 2615. All we need is the 11, the yo. Concentrate, landing zone. Here we go, landing zone, and there's a seven, folks. So that would have reset everything, okay? So anyway, that was, a, that was a come out seven. So I still would have been rolling. But I'm going to end this video. It is such a pleasure that you folks give me this opportunity to really present myself to you and show you my practice and my throws and my strategies. I really appreciate you all for supporting my channel. If you like this video and all the other videos, put the thumbs up. And uh, have your, fam fa uh, your family and friends subscribe to my channel. I really love the support. But at the end, on the whole thing, I won $415 because I continued to throw. And I had that monies up on the all tall small. That's the only thing that you couldn't remove. But I removed all the other monies off. So with that said and done, 
Jeff the chef is out and I want you to have a great, great rest of the morning. Drink some coffee, get some energy and let's have a great time. Oh my God, my video stopped.